folks, welcome back to another mesmerizing episode of Whining About Pest Control. I am Shell Hartzer of 360 Pest Consulting. And as you are pouring your glass of wine, go ahead and hit all those liking and following buttons down there so you don't miss out on any of this great stuff. Because today especially is going to be great because we are going to whine about millipedes. And for millipedes, I have a nice red blend here with um, yeah, some pretty good legs on there. Cheers. Okay, little background. Many people seem to get millipedes and centipedes mixed up. They are in fact different classes of animals. Remember back to biology, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. The most obvious difference is gonna be the legs. Millipedes have a lot more legs than centipedes do. No, it's not a million, but there is a cool species in Australia just discovered in some caves that comes in at the top of 818 legs. Millipedes are going to have two pairs of legs, so four legs in total on each body segment. Centipedes are going to have one pair of legs, two legs per body segment. That's the best way to tell them apart. Some other differences, millipedes are munching on decaying vegetation while centipedes are carnivorous. They're going to be chomping down on insects and some other small animals. Some species of millipedes, they produce a defensive secretion to kind of deter predators. Rarely harmful to humans though. Centipedes are venomous. They use the venom to subdue their prey. Again, rarely harmful to humans. Millipedes are slow. Centipedes can be kind of fast. Millipedes can sometimes be found clumped together if there's enough room, if there's enough resources. Centipedes are much more solitary. All right, focusing back on millipedes now. Millipedes are in the damp soil where they're decomposing food sources. They rarely injure plants, so sometimes some small seedlings and sometimes some vegetable crops. Typically, they're going to be under rocks, rotting logs, shaded, sheltered areas, and any other place there's moisture and food resources outdoors. Now, I can already hear some of you whining, but Shell, we're finding them indoors, and our customers are calling us about them now. I know, I'm getting to that part. Just like spiders, ground beetles, the occasional true bug, roly-polies, which are not a millipede, by the way, these can wander in from the outside. Just like all those occasional invaders found inside structures, they don't survive too long. They don't reproduce inside. The best way to deal with these is to seal up the structure, particularly at the ground level where they can crawl inside. These do not have wings. They're not flying up to the second floor. I know, but Shell, they're already in the structure. Yeah, so you're already behind a little bit, but the situation is not hopeless. After you are done imparting your wisdom on the customer about correctly sealing their structure, there are a few options. If you're paying attention a couple episodes ago, we talked about fall invaders, and you know that I recommended some very targeted crack and crevice treatments around windows and doors. Well, the same applies here, but this time you wanna focus on that ground level and apply on the outside of the structure, not inside. You don't really have to do those windows unless they're close to the ground. These things are not crawling up walls, they're not flying, ground level. Also, don't forget the garage doors. If you're in a commercial facility, dock doors, anything that's that's right there at the ground level. Those are the spots you want to target with a little bit of crack and crevice treatment. Do not do a full perimeter treatment for millipedes. These are beneficial. They're perfectly safe to have out there. In fact, they can help with plant growth and plant health. They put those nutrients back into the soil and they aerate the soil, so it's good for the plants. The goal is just to stop them from coming indoors. Another option, a little bit crazy, but you can create a vegetation-free border and not necessarily around the whole structure, but again, those entry points, doors, other ground floor openings. You can do this with rocks, you can put some concrete down, anything that keeps the soil a little bit drier and with that, there's gonna be no decomposing vegetable material for them to feast on, so they're gonna take themselves elsewhere. So if you are treating, you only need to treat those areas, ground level, okay? We've said it again and again and again, ground level where the millipedes are getting in. It's like me trying to get into the wine cellar. I'm not gonna go through a solid wall, I'm gonna go through the opening that's there for me, AKA the door, which is exactly what I plan on doing as soon as I'm done with this glass. So. Go have your glass, go keep the grass cut back, and whine to me about your tough pest issues. See how I can help you. Don't forget to share this with all your pest friends and foes so they can whine along with us. Until next time, cheers to those mesmerizing millipedes. <laughs>